Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so someone asked for Simone Biles, so I looked her up on Wiki. She has got like a zillion Wiki pages, but I got all down to about a page and a half. So Simone Biles, that's what we're going to talk about now. Okay, so this is going to be all about uh, Simone Biles. Let me get that uh, story up here and tell you what I got. So in 1997, she's born. This is Simone Ariane Biles, and she's born on March 14th in Columbus, Ohio. She's the third of four siblings. Her birth mother, though, was able to care for her four children, and they all went in and out of foster care. Now, in 2000, Biles' maternal grandfather, learning that his grandkids were in foster care, uh, him and his second wife, uh, Nellie uh, Catayano uh, Biles, temporarily cared for them in Spring, uh, Texas. Then, in 2003, they adopted Simone and her younger sister. Now, Simone holds Belizean and citizenship, um, which she considers her second home, through her adoptive mother, who's Belizean. And uh, the family is Catholic. Her sister, or rather her father's sister, uh, which is Simone's great-great-aunt Harriet, adopted the two oldest of her siblings. Uh, she first tried gymnasti gymnastics at age six, and instructors suggested continuing. Uh, she now holds 30 Olympic and World Championship medals and is the most decorated American gymnast. Now, in 2005, she's eight years old, and she begins training with coach Amy Bowman, Borman, actually. 2011, uh, she's 14, and uh, her first meet is the American Classic in Huntsville, Texas, and she plays uh, first uh, in uh, all around and also on vault. Now, 2012, she switched from public schooling to homeschooling, and that increased her training hours to be able to get up to 32 hours a week. And then she competed at the U.S. Uh, Classics and was named to the U.S. Junior National Team. Uh, 2013, she's 16, and her senior international debut was the American Cup. And she traveled to compete at the city of Jessalo uh, for the city of Jessalo Trophy. She took the all-around vault, balance beam, and floor exercises. Also competed at the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Antwerp, Belgium. Remember, she's 16. And she qualified first in the all-around and the first uh, on the floor final. She the, was the first American to qualify to the all-arounds plus all four event finals since 1991. And she's the first African-American to win the world uh, all-around title. So now, in uh, 2014, she brought home a total of six world championship gold medals, the most ever by an American gymnast. 2015, she graduated, announcing that she's turning professional and representing the U.S. at the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Glasgow. Her team won their third consecutive gold medal, and she became the first woman to win three consecutive all-around titles. So 2016, the Rio Summer, Summer Olympics. But she's accused of doping saying on Twitter that she has ADHD and permitted to take medication and received a therapeutic use exemption. So she won her first Olympic gold medal. She co-wrote an autobiography, Courage to Soar, A Body in Motion, A Life in Balance, and it was turned into a lifetime biopic. In 2017, she did not compete. She did Dancing with the Stars and was eliminated with professional dancer Sasha. 2018, she enrolled at an online college and became the university's brand ambassador. And then 2019, World Championships. The USA qualified to uh, team uh, final first place. The USA qu team qualified to final first place, I guess. I'm not sure what all this means. Individually, she qualified to the all-around, the balance beam, the floor exercise finals in first place and debuted the Biles 2, a triple twisting double tuck somersault on floor exercise and the Biles, a double twisting double tuck somersault dismount on the balance beam. She won the gold medal on vault and is the second holder for the world's uh, championship medals, male or female. The second record holder for the most world championship medals, uh, male or female. And she tied the record for the most gold medals, um, won at a single world championship. 2020, she's chosen to represent the U.S. at the Tokyo World Cup, 
and 2021, she competed at the U.S. Classic, competed at the U.S. National Championships, and won and qualified uh, for the Olympic trials, earned an automatic spot onto the Olympic team. USA Gymnastics announced she would withdraw from the finals, citing mental health. She was experiencing the twisties, a psychological phenomenon wherein a gymnast loses air awareness while performing twisting elements. So I hope all that made sense to you, because it barely made sense to me, but we'll do the cards now. So this is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Uh, these are great cards. They come in a really nice box. It's kind of substantial. The guidebook that comes with them is useful. Um, it's it's it talks about all the cards. It's got some good ideas for divination, and it's easy to read. So that I like. The cards themselves are nice cards. I mean, they're they're. Um, they're sturdy. They've got a beautiful back. They're a little glossy. They're kind of biggish, but not um, difficult to use, at least not for me. And uh, you can see, again, the art on these cards just goes from, from right to the edge of the card. And there's lots of beautiful stuff here to see. So I do this to kind of mix the cards without damaging them and to give you an opportunity to look at them if you don't look at cards uh, very much. Um, you know, not everybody goes out and buys uh, tarot cards or has a chance to flip through the deck. So that's kind of uh, a little preview of what's in these cards. These are the Taracho, uh, not Taracho. These are, as a matter of fact, who puts these out? I have forgotten completely. So, don't know. Hay House. So, not a, a brand that I see very often, but uh, nice cards, and I really love using them. Okay, so we'll give the cards a spin for Simone Biles and see what's going on. So um, a lot of us saw her uh, experience that kind of twisty thing. Her face was really odd when she was going over the top of that uh, that uh, that exercise. So, um, gosh. And what can we ask the cards, though, about Simone Biles? Is she okay? Is her Is her mental health okay? Is that a good thing to ask? Is that a fair question? Simone Biles... How is her mental health? How is the mental health of Simone Biles? That's what we'll do. Simone Biles. What's in your head, young lady Simone Biles? How is your mental health? Let's leave it an open question about mental health and how is she for this first part. And we'll see which way the cards lean. I think that's a good way to start out. Wow, they don't want to go together, so they're unbalanced. <laughs> that's interesting. We'll do a split, like Simone would, and then we'll spread the cards out. And take six right off the top. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and that's six. So put these to the side for the last part. And Simone Biles, what is going on for you right now, my dear? Are you okay in the head? What is the story for Simone Biles? The um, signifier for this reading then is the Hierophant. You know, the Hierophant represents all the rules uh, that you have to go by, all the rules you have to follow uh, to complete this thing that you're involved in. So this seems pretty accurate to me. I imagine besides the rules of the various competitions that she has to be so aware of, and she's got to remember every little motion, every little twitch, every little spring or flex that's going to make her uh, various um, performances work perfectly. So the Hierophant, um, the rules that you have to go by, is a perfect signifier. The challenge for that is uh, the Seven of Earth. So this is the Seven of Coins, also perfect because the Seven of Coins is, have I done enough? Did I do enough to make this? And it's got to always be their thought in their head, have I done enough? So it's a very mental uh, mentally uh, debilitating, I would guess, situation, because every single time, have I done enough? And here you are at the big peak. The, balance, the base of this, then, is a six of uh, air, and the six of air is a six of swords, and that means moving out of troubled waters. So if she has a, um, you know, if she's mentally confused, if she has a block or a situation that's not letting her think through her actions clearly, I mean, that could be life-threatening in the kind of uh, balancing and spinning that she's doing. So the Six of Airs is the base of this, and that's moving out of troubled waters. And that sounds exactly right, uh, a perfect base for that reading. Now, the past to this is going to be the Magician. I, I can go with that. I mean, she's she's had to be like a Magician. She has invented uh, uh, um, elements of the exercises that she does that are named after him or her. So you can't be more of a Magician than that. 
And then the sky of this reading is the uh, Ace of Fire. And so the Ace of Fire is the Ace of uh, Wands. Wands are plans. Oh, yeah. So the sky of this, if she's not a shooting for, to be the absolute best in planning and everything she does, not just her exercises, but also her life, then she's uh, going to miss out. So the Ace of Fire is absolutely perfect uh, in the sky for this reading. Uh, and then the likely outcome of this first part, uh, kind of concerning um, where are you? Where are you in your head? Are you okay? And right now it looks like it's a very much in the head kind of situation. And the, um, ah, the likely outcome of this is the moon card, which are secrets being revealed. So that's perfect. Um, so more to come is what that's telling us. So we take these last four cards and see what else the cards have to tell us about Simone Biles. The uh, self of Simone Biles right now is the page of air. So the page is the lower of the court cards. They're bringing a message to the court and uh, air is swords. So the uh, page of air is bringing this. And look at this. Uh, this is an angel on wings right here. So this page is bringing a message of truth, a, me a, a message of justice right to the game here. That's what this page of air is doing. I'm going to slip that page of air right down there. And then the environment that that page is in is the Nine of Water. So this is the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is kind of wishes fulfilled. Yeah, she's in that environment of wishes, be, wishes being fulfilled, uh, I would say. But um, sometimes, be careful what you wish for, I guess uh, you could say. So be careful what you wish for. And then uh, the hopes of the fears for that is right here in the star. Yeah, you want to be the star, and it's the biggest fear, too. You want to not miss out on being the star and I think by her stepping back she just kind of addressed that fear and said I can face this and I don't have to be the star and in doing so she is still the star uh, the likely outcome of everything then is going to be right here and this is the nine of air that's the nine of, of swords and that's really feeling trapped and in these cards it's not such an ugly uh, depiction as in some of the other decks but still you're feeling you're trapped in your own head really so this uh, nine of swords can easily take wing and take flight, but sometimes you're just stuck in your own head. And I think that's exactly where she is on this. Perfect reading for Simone Biles. So yeah, that turned out really to be an absolutely appropriate uh, reading for her. I'm always shocked when it comes out so well. But the first thing uh, that showed up uh, for her as a signifier at the beginning of the reading was the Hierophant. You know, I mean, all the rules that she has to abide by, not only the rules of the game, but the rules of getting her body to react exactly the way it needs to. And that was challenged by the Seven of Earth, which is always wondering, have I done enough? It's got to be a constant uh, worry, constantly in their head. And the, the uh, basis of all of that was the uh, Six of uh, Swords, the Six of Air, which is moving out of troubled waters. And it looks like that's where she is. And the past of that uh, was the magician, which is, you know, she actually created some uh, monumental uh, moves in her sport. So, yeah, she's been the magician. And then in the sky of that reading with the Ace of uh, Fire, which is the Ace of Wands, and Wands are action motion plans. Yeah, she needs to be in control of all of her plans. So that's what we got there with the likely outcome of the moon being secrets being revealed. So we'll probably find out a lot more about what the blocks are, what the mental issues are that, um, that uh, gave her pause. Then uh, the self of the th whole thing was the page of, of air, so that's the page of swords, and that's really uh, needing to be completely in control of your own truth, your own justice. And it was challenged by what? Of course, the nine of cups, which is you know, wishes being fulfilled. So being in control when all your wishes are being fulfilled, um, that's a pretty big uh, a plate. Uh, the hopes and the fears of that were the star. Sure, all that, all that, that involves being the star. And then the uh, final outcome of the whole thing was the nine of uh, air, which is the nine of swords, and that's feeling uh, trapped. But you're trapped in your own mind. You can easily always get out of it, but you just have to release yourself. So, perfect reading for Simone Viles. I like it. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.